You, 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 and you are watching Life Rocks TV. G'day Life Rockers. Welcome back to Life Rocks TV. I am your host Jabba, and on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at one of nature's most magical secrets. And I have an example in my pocket right now. Are you sure you're ready? Okay. Are you 100% sure? All right. We are going to be taking a look at the magical world of crystals. And when my camera focuses, you'll see that I am holding a citrine lemurian, which is a type of crystal that comes all the way from Brazil. Yes, on today's episode, we're gonna be looking at crystals from all over the globe, some of which have taken billions of years to grow. And we're gonna be looking at how humans have used crystals to make their day-to-day -day lives easier. For example, did you know that you are currently looking at crystals right now? Yes, on the screen you are watching, scientists have used liquid crystals to create the color and movement of video. Pretty crazy, right? So first stop on today's journey is a trip to Crystal World. And I thought of no one better to lead this magical journey than our very cosmic intergalactic friend, the space cowboy, Leroy Yeehaw McCall. Over to you, Leroy. Well, howdy, Life Rockers. It's Leroy Yeehaw McCall here, and I am reporting live from, hang on a second. If I'm gonna be reporting live, I want like a microphone, like those news reporters. Just give me a second. Heck, I can never find anything in here. Oh, there it is, all right. Y'all got me now? How about that? That sound good? Well, all right, here I am down at uh, Crystal World in Australia, in Devon Meadows, and uh, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the, the different types of crystals that they have here. And uh, so let's get on inside and see what's going on. So while Leroy heads inside, let's take a look at some pictures from our Life Rocks Crystals book to see how crystals are formed. So over billions of years, the Earth has seen some pretty spectacular and powerful events, such as meteors crashing into the Earth, volcanoes erupting, and lava flowing, all of which have created heat, pressure, and force that has led to the creation of crystals. Yes, when lava flows underground, it leaves hollows, which are then encased in hardened lava. Eventually, water, like it's raining right now, will drip into the lava stone. Rich in minerals, the water leaves tiny crystals, which over millions of years grow bigger and bigger to form what we call a geode. So a geode is like a big hollowed out rock, which is filled with crystals. And I believe Leroy has found an example of a geode down at Crystal World. Now it might look like I got wings on, but behind me we got some amethyst crystals. Well hot damn would you look at them sparkle. More sparkles than a unicorn's birthday party. Well hot diggy dog. And how old are some of the crystals down there? Now here I got my head inside an amethyst crystal all the way from Brazil. Heck would you look at this thing? It is millions of years old. And Leroy, there are also some crystals that have fluorescent minerals meaning they glow under UV light, like real life magic. Can you find some? First up, we got some fuchsia. And inside, holy moly, inside is some ruby. And that's the bit you see lighting up. Next up, we got some mangano calcite. And well, that one is just incredible. That lights up like nothing else. Now we got some willamite. And see this willamite, it goes fluorescent orange. And this is another piece of willamite, and it goes yellow. What the hootin' tootin' heck? Y'all have some crazy stuff happening down here on planet Earth. You got magical stones. 
magical crystals that light up. Heck, I can't believe my eyes. All right, Life Rockers, I'm outside in the Crystal Garden now, and I am surrounded on all sides by rose quartz, and there are all types of funky looking crystals going on out here. Let's go have a look. Holy horseradish. I cannot believe how many colors there are. We got lapis lazuli from Afghanistan, blue aragonite from Pakistan, galena from Italy, fluorite from China, zebra calcite from India, honey calcite from Mexico, orange calcite from Brazil, agate from USA, agate another type from Queensland. Oh heck, I like this one. Black Obsidian from Mexico. And we got a Mukai from Western Australia. This crystal does not look like the most exciting crystal. Uh, but this uh, Tranquility, heck I don't know how to say that. Tranquility was first found on the moon when they went up there for the Apollo 11 space missions. And since then they have actually found it down here on Earth in Western Australia. So that right there is a moon rock. Heck, I was on the moon just the other day. Flashback. Heck, what are you flashing back here for? We weren't on the moon. We were drinking kombucha at the saloon. Flash forward. Well, hot diggy dog, we are finishing up down here at Crystal World and I just feel like whacking my hand whip. I haven't shown you that before, have I? I have an imaginary whip in my hand and when I go, it makes a funky noise. Now, you say goodbye, you dinosaurs, because we're going to get out of here. Roar. Roar. And I have had the most roaring time down here. But now, Jabber, actually, I would like to set a challenge to you today. I want you to go and have a look around Lafrax headquarters and see if you can't find me five types of crystals that are used in the everyday household. Good luck with that. Me? A challenge? You know what? I love it, Leroy, and I am up for the challenge. But we are out of time on today's episode, so I will have to pick that up in the next episode. Yes, this is to be continued. So thanks for joining us here at Life Rocks Kids. We would love to see you again, so be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content, and we will see you on the next episode. And until then, do not forget that Life Rocks. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye.